Hey, I'm Connor Nielsen. And I'm Spencer Nielsen. Of CS Reviews, and you and I really love a good movie. And today is day one of Horror Week. It is the week prior to Halloween, and Connor and I will be reviewing one defining horror movie uh, for each decade from the 1950s to the 1990s. So what did we do for the 1950s? Well, we decided to go with the 1954 uh, creature feature gem, Them. All right, so this movie is, uh, starts off with our, uh, two police officers uh, find a girl roaming through the desert in New Mexico where the first atom bomb was tested. And when she's revived from her state of shock, where she's in, uh, the only thing she can say is them. So they call upon a scientist to investigate the desert for who is them. Or what is them? What are them? <clears throat> yeah, this uh, movie. The real okay, Just why are we reviewing them? You know what? This. You know what do you think? 1950s. You know you think Godzilla, but we already reviewed Godzilla. So now what? <laughs> you know what do we do for 1950s horror movie? We realized that it was the beginning of the atomic age, uh, 1950s, and uh, the horror movies were more sci-fi horror, more on the sci-fi side. Um, we didn't know what we wanted to do, The Blob or uh, uh, Them, but you know, Them was more accessible to us, so we went with that. So we'll probably review The Blob if you guys want us to. So uh, we also figured that <clears throat> uh, Them was a creature feature, and you know, the 1950s was the age of the creature features. You know, The Blob and Creature from the Black Lagoon and Godzilla and them. <laughs> them. Okay. So, what do you like about the movie? I really liked how seriously this movie took itself. Uh, I, it starts off like an episode of The Twilight Zone. And, you know, it's very mysterious. You see this girl walking through the desert, and then you see these, like, uh, uh, trailers like being like ripped apart and you're wondering what this is and you hear that sound yeah <laughs> you know going through the winds and it, you know, the only thing being stolen is sugar you, you don't know what it is and uh, I think it's great you know the tagline terror horror excitement mystery them I mean it has a little bit of everything and uh, it's mainly excitement because this movie is very 50s. The acting is very 50s. The production value surprisingly high for what you think it was. I thought it would just be this B movie, but I think at the time of it, its release, it would be very, uh, very popular. I'm shocked how much hate this movie gets because I like this movie a lot, and I think if more people were just stopped trying to be cool and went, "Oh them, <laughs> stupid, let's rip on them," because it's a 1950s horror movie with a kind of where it turns out what's happening is is so ridiculous by today's standards. It's stupid. I think it's great. It's very entertaining, and you know all the characters are just fun, and it's a very fun movie, very entertaining. Yeah, I I, I agree with you. I it's very entertaining, uh, especially uh, aside from the production values, which I think are the only thing that have really been dated. Uh, I I think that the writing is very good. The characters are very well written. The acting is. Surprisingly, very well, very well done, and I think it's just a very fun time. I think the climax is pretty, f like what happens, how they, how they get around. I think it's the 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 last climax was just one of those things where, like, that's awesome. I mean, you know, I, I don't want to sound like a mindless ooh action's awesome, but that last sequence, that was awesome. Yeah. Stamp of awesome. <laughs> uh, Funny as kids, uh, we didn't want to see it because we uh, we uh, we rent Godzilla VHSs. Yeah, um, this dinosaur dinosaurs right here. At the end of them, there'd be the trailer, and one of them would be a trailer for them. And uh, I didn't see it until now. We saw it on Netflix on our computer, and it was uh, it was just a good hour and a half to kill. And yeah, you entertained. Pop up some popcorn, sit on the couch, watch it on the. Friday night, Saturday night, you have nothing to do, just pop it in and be enjoyed. But something I will disagree with you. You say that the production values have been dated. For what it is, it's amazing. But, I mean, the thing is, when you just watch it, it just adds to 
the nostalgia factor. I mean, I didn't see this movie as a kid, but I still have a nostalgic place in my heart for monster movies from the 1950s, the creature features, like, we talk about Godzilla. We grew up on that crap, mm -hmm. and we cherished every little bit of it, and uh, I, you know, I just have a soft spot for these movies, and I will recognize when a creature feature is cheesy, like, a lot of the later Godzilla movies, very, very cheesy, but this one, it's just, it feels like the Twilight Zone meets Godzilla. Yeah, I also like how it wasn't a self-parody. Yeah, it, yeah, it takes itself very seriously. Yeah, but not over-seriously. Yeah. We realize that it's a, it's a great A, B movie. <laughs> it's a good way to put it. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. I give it that too. It's just, it's not the best movie ever, it's not the greatest movie ever made, but it's, it's a very good... It's movie. one of the greatest creature features ever made. <laughs> yeah. That's it's, 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 it's among the best B-movies I've ever seen. <laughs> All right. Um, one thing I didn't like about it was, um, I don't know, I felt it was a little, some of the monologues went on and were a bit repetitious throughout the movie. Uh, you know, there was a lot of dialogue-heavy scenes, but they're also feeding us more information that was talked about on another big monologue, especially from uh, the, the doctor that comes in to investigate. And Dr. Medford, he has this ten-minute scene or something like that, five, somewhere from five to ten minutes, where he's pretty much educating everybody on ants. And we, for people who already know that ants can lift 50 times their... Yeah, whoever, whoever graduated elementary school already knows it. <laughs> if I showed this uh, movie to my seven-year-old brother, he would dig it. I mean, he likes Nosferatu and Frankenstein and Dracula. <laughs> them would definitely be up there with them, too. So, yeah. 8.5 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah, that's only a complaint. It's a little lengthy, and sometimes you just kind of go, okay, when's the next big terrifying moment going to happen? Yeah. That's... No, it does rise. It's very takes itself seriously, even though it is just a little dialogue heavy. Too much. Uh, yeah, I'm Connor Nielsen, and I'm Spencer Nielsen, and I'm s signing out.